Okay, so apparently I've seen many people asking the same question over and over again. And that is from the Citra community forums. That is from the Citra Discord server. That is also from Smash Ditto's, um, Smash Ditto's comment sections. Specifically the one in the, in the tutorial on how to install Smash 3DS mods. By the way, it's made by me, not Smash Ditto. He don't I'm not mad at him although he's been missing for a very long time anyways um what right now everyone has been talking about how can I install Mars on the Android port of Citra that's what they're asking and me as the person who created this um, private tutorial I don't know <laughs> I really don't know so I'm not gonna joke around uh, no giggling, no bluffing. So, anyways, so the reason why, um, the reason why I've been actually, you know, um, continu continuing or actually making the tutorial is because of a little unstable on the Citra Android port. To be honest, like, not gonna lie, the Android port is really, really unstable. Now, I have my sister's phone. Um, with me so I already have Citra installed I can't do it on my phone because my phone is J8 2018 version by the way and it's already outdated and I need a new phone right now anyways right now here they only have uh, two games Pokemon X and Smash Brothers both games even though I already updated on the latest version by the way um, the latest recent version I how I did it is I actually uninstalled the emulator, reinstall it back. So that's how I got the update. So the last time, um, so both of these games, by the way, they don't actually perform well. So I'm just gonna show you um, by booting up Smash 3DS first. There is no mods on this one except the high poly code. I think I don't think there is actually a high poly code. As you can see, there is a little bit of lag, um, and also some stuttered audio stuttering. So let's talk about the first issue about this emulator. Of course, everyone expects this. By the way, this is in, this is still an alpha version, or I think it was. I don't know, and. Of course, there are many things that are still not yet um, stay, um, supported. So first off, is the circle pad. Now normally, when you're using the circle pad, you can actually move around this and that. But if I want to do a slow walk, as you can see, I already nudged the circle pad there. It's unresponding. Like, it's not actually register any, any movement unless I have to move the move the move the circle pad very very far as you can see I cannot actually move very fast it is very very limited even if I wanted to make a circle a little bit I still can't so first off if you're gonna play smash with the Android emulator the problem of that is the circle pad you cannot actually um, do some really good tails and stuff that's the problem second problem is this one when selecting the stage after selecting the uh, stage the game flickers black and back to normal color I think it's trying to register the specular. I don't know. And as you can see right there with Mario, um, wait, I think it actually ha does have that, huh? Maybe I didn't know <laughs> about my 3DS. Anyways, it does have. Oh wait, no, never mind. There it is. Even I nudge it a little bit. Um, 
little bit it still doesn't register only on certain parts it's it registered so another thing is that the gameplay it runs very very poor even this by the way I already set the set the gra uh, the graphics to native resolution this already in native resolution as far as I know uh, as far as I know internal res 1x that's native that's the default res enable fi linear filtering if I, if I check it's still running very very slow the next one um, even if I'm going to disable it, disabling enable asynchronous GPU emulation so even if it says when enabled performance will be improved yeah we'll see about that and as you can see it's still the same result as before it is still not 60 FPS it is not actually um, better uh, to say the least Oh crap, what what's going on? Uh, sorry. Def, I did not um, increase the def. Actually, stereoscop uh, stereoscopy, I did not touch anything about the stereoscopy. Cardboard screen, I did not actually touch that. So even with this um, setting, it is still running very, very slow audio it's like this this is actually normal enable audio stretching and audio device audio device is normal system of course auto select emulated language okay system clock um, that's normal so override even uh, no, wait this is the dates sorry so clock type and clock start that's the dates In general Lim uh, enable limit speed so when enable emulation speed will be limited even if I'm gonna disable it, it's still gonna perform the same thing then limit speed percentage even if I'm gonna increase that it's still gonna perform the same speed as you can see I already said 200% and it's still the same frames and it's still the same thing What else? Um, actually, there's nothing special here. Um, show FPS. Now, as you can see right there in the FPS counter, it is dropping. Now, if I'm gonna play, do some real gameplay, the FPS dropped very, very bad. Now, and another thing I wanna show you is actually how the game works. So, I cannot play. <laughs> Um, so I can actually play properly uh, the game with one hand so I'm just gonna do it. so as you can see I'm trying to dash but then it still registers as a it still registers as a tilt Like I said, I'm very sorry. I wish I have screen recorder installed on this phone, but this is my sister's phone, and I don't want that. So let's start with attacks. As you can see, even if I'm gonna, it's really hard to do uh, enable dash attacks. Like, there you go, there you go, there you go. Oops. Even if trying to enable smash attacks, I can't. Um, it's uh, it thinks like I'm doing tilt. See, as you can see, it's doing tilts. So this also another. So this actually the problem why I did not actually um, continuing or actually releasing the Citra Android port is because of the emulator 
is still an alpha version or something. I don't know. Oh yeah, this is also another problem with the emulator is that it's so hard to play. <laughs> um, sure, other games it's okay. But at least Smash 64 and Dolphin Emulator plays very very well. Like their controller is really that good on the Android version. But however, on Citra by the way, oh shoot, I did I missed it before there. It's really that bad. There we go. Now you may be thinking, uh oh, maybe it's the scale. Yeah, sure. I'm just get I'm gonna I'm gonna change the the screen by the way. Instead of landscape, I'm gonna make it single screen. Which also another problem if I'm gonna have it single screen is that the bottom screen still interacts. Um, you can uh, as you can see the bottom screen still interacts because it actually overlays at the at the cent at the at the top screen. Even the bottom screen is gone, it's still there. <laughs> Got him. I just did a forward air on an Android port. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, thank you all for watching. This is also the reason why I did not release the Android port yet, because the emulator is still a work in progress. Now, if you're want, if you want to know the progress of the emulator, you just have to up. You just have to go check it out on their Discord server, I guess. But don't take my word for granted. So if you have any questions on Android Port, probably go to this to go to their Discord. But if you're asking again about the uh, about installing mods on Sma uh, on the Android Port, it's best not to and just play mods on your normal 3DS or on the PC with Citra Emulator. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you do enjoy it. Don't forget to leave a like, share it to your friends, share it to everyone to be honest. Feel free to subscribe. It's not necessary. It's not you know a requirement. Anyways, that's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.